Hey, welcome back. This is EC's EDC. And today we are looking at the Heim Planet Transit Line Travel Pack 24 liter bag. This is from Heim Planet, as I mentioned, which is a company out of Germany. They make a lot of gear, uh, ranging from bags to outdoor gear used for camping. I've had a few of their products in the past. Uh, the product that I've been most familiar with is the larger version. 34 liter transit pack. Uh, I've used this for travel multiple times and you know this has been a bag that I've had great experiences with so I was looking to um, really try out this smaller version for everyday carry. Now before we jump in and take a look at the 24 liter I want to show you guys just the difference in colorways that they do offer for both bags. This is the Castle Rock. It's a gray shadowy color Whereas here you have the true black, um, much more dark, vibrant, um, and more saturated blackness than you have here with this uh, castle gray. So let's uh, let's jump right in. This bag is made in an 840D ballistic nylon. Heim Planet calls this their Dyco material. It is dyed upstream with their attempt to be more environmentally conscious. They also give 1% back to environmental nonprofits, which is pretty cool. Now, dimensions, we'll do that while this is right here in front of you guys, taking a look. Dimensions, we have roughly 12 inches by 19.7, so pretty much 20 inches tall, and um, seven inches deep. That translates to 30 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 18 centimeters. This is 2.2 pounds, one kilogram. And for what it's worth, while we're talking about the materials, uh, there's no frame sheets. So this is a bag that, you know, gets its structure from the things you put inside here. There is a foam back panel that helps, uh, but it's, you know, it's gonna contour to the stuff you got inside. So if you're looking for a really structured bag, one that stands on its own without anything in it, this isn't that bag. But I do think that even without the structure, uh, this is a great option for, I think, a lot of folks. So let's take a look at the exterior. Again, this 840D material, it's super soft, uh, even right out of the bag. Notice this first time I used a Heim Planet bag with their 34 liter version, very soft, very supple. Um, I've had no issues with durability with either bag. I will say that it does kind of pick up lint, hair, dirt, debris, as you can actually see here on the bottom of the bag, um, just stuff, right? But it brushes right off. This stuff does not stick very well, even if it does kind of cling. The zippers on the bag are YKK reverse coil. There's no PU, uh, there's no aqua, aqua guarded zippers anywhere. Uh, we do see Hypalon. There's a little zipper garage here, which is a nice touch. Um, you do have these four little Hypalon loops that you could use if you wanted to maybe throw some shock cord on, give you the ability to lash some things to the front of the bag. And we do see branding. Heim Planet does put a bit of branding on this bag. Um, not overly obnoxious, but it is pretty much everywhere you look. On the side of the bag, we can see we have one side handle for briefcase mode, just moving the bag around, you get a top handle and a side handle. This handle has no structure, as I've mentioned before. It's just attached here to the fabric on the side, and when you grab it, you'll notice that the fabric pulls upwards. So far, so good in durability. Uh, we'll see, you know, they're both actually in good shape. Um, so, well made, and I haven't had an issue with, you know, thinking, hey, I need a, uh, an aluminum stay or something in here to give the bag a little bit more support. A little bit more branding right here, a little rubber logo. And 
As we look at the larger number 10 reverse coil zippers, these zipper pulls have a plastic little cylinder with Hyden Planet's logo on it. We do have a side access to the bag as well as a full clamshell opening. Uh, we'll take a look at that shortly. And at the top of the bag, we have that top handle. These are both made of seatbelt material. They're very smooth to touch. No foam padding to mention, but it does have sufficient padding in terms of the material itself. It's fine to hold in your hand, uh, but I wouldn't compare this to, you know, the comfort you're gonna find on, you know, an, an airbag, for example. On the other side of the bag, we do have one small zip pocket here. This is maybe security, maybe a little bit of quick access. It's got some decent volume, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in one moment. And we do have one front pocket. So there's your front pocket. This front pocket does not have any organization, and I've just got some random stuff in here and it just drops directly across that front panel pretty much the size of this zipper track and uh, the entire width of the bag so good for good for just throwing your stuff in there if you don't need organization this works great um, i find it to be perfect in use i can sling the bag over reach my hand in things don't really fall down which is nice and you know you just gotta find what you need this security pocket, quick access pocket, whatever you want to call it, I have just some sort of hygiene stuff as we get into the fall seasons, hand sanitizer, tissues. This isn't really sized for too much else. It is good for a phone. So if you've got, you know, the current iPhone Pro, this is a Google Pixel 7, they're about the same size. They fit in here great. I don't know if I'd keep the phone there all the time just because it's so easy to get into. I don't think it's super secure, but if you're going through TSA, a great place for the stuff in your pockets. But I do, I do like this little pocket. It is nice to have. Um, and actually flip that over so it's not upside down. And it's a nice little add-on that Heim Planet gives you. So that's the exterior of the bag. On the front, let's take a look at the back. We do have a little bit more branding right here on the luggage pass-through. You get that silver rectangle with Heim Planet's logo. There is a number of Hypalon bits. These are the lash points where you can attach the optional sternum strap to the bag. And we see here again Heim Planet's logo, Heim Planet's logo on the Hypalon down at the bottom. Straps are, I'd say, sufficiently comfortable. They're not super padded. Uh, the foam is pretty dense, and you know, it's it's a fine bag. It, it doesn't hurt my shoulders. I've got this. There's probably a little bit more than 10 pounds in here, and you know, in the times I've used it, it's been fine. The back panel has this sort of turtle shell appearance with the way they stitch it. Similar to what you'll see on, you know, the 34 liter. This is a little bit more pronounced. But they do give you, it's sufficient. It's not overly padded. It doesn't really raise up too high and there's no frame sheet. So it kind of contours to whatever I have in the bag. Now that said, it doesn't give a great deal of ventilation. This does kind of get warm on my back from time to time, especially in the summer. But I mean, all bags do, right? So um, it's, it's not really a big deal, but worth mentioning, you can get better ventilation with other bags as there's no true channels for air. The bottom pad does have two lash points for you to attach, again, another optional hip pack or a, excuse me, a hip belt. But at 24 liters, you know, Choose your own adventure, I don't think it's needed. And the last thing to mention here, this is the length that I keep my shoulder straps at. I like the bag 
pretty high on my shoulders. And they integrate the elastic keeper to the bottom of this nylon strap. And when the bag is pulled all the way up, this stuff, this just kind of hangs like this. You could try to fix it by rolling it over on itself, maybe adding a second keeper here, but because it is sewn on, you do or you can end up with this extra webbing, which I wasn't a big fan of. But that's their decision. So that is, that's the exterior of the bag. Let's dive in to the inside. So this is a clamshell bag, true clamshell bag as well. And again, this is packed out for my everyday carry. I keep a pair of headphones for my commute. I've got a 20 ounce thermos by Zoji Rushi, moleskin notebook for work. Evergood's half cap, kind of a catch-all for different things. I've got some hygiene and medical supplies in there. And now we can see the bucket inside this main compartment. Heimplan has done a really unique job of creating this layout. It is definitely styled for sort of a briefcase mode, if you will. That same side access zipper is also here where these would face upwards. So there are two larger stretch pockets here that have not really bagged out yet. They're still pretty good. And when I put smaller items, they do feel secure. You know, this one's a little bagged out, I guess, because this pouch is larger, but um, they've held their structure pretty well. So you've got two here for your organization needs, and then there's two smaller ones. You could fit a multi-tool, flashlights, a few pens or markers, um, maybe a stylist. But again, the lack of a frame sheet I think might be the downfall of this bag. Now, behind here is where you're gonna store your tech, or at least where that's, that's where they want you to store your tech. Now you can also access the tech from the side, but you can get to it in either capacity. This is that little side access opening. So I have in here my 14 inch Mac and my iPad Air. Um, it does fit a 16 inch machine. The 16 inch machine is tight and does come almost to the edge of this padding, but it does fit in there no problem. Now, I often try to keep my notebook, my iPad, and my laptop in the same place. And when I do this, this part here that's got the organization attached to it, begins to round kind of outwards. And it makes it a little harder to get stuff in there. So I found that keeping the notebook out keeps it a little bit flatter and lets me leverage these pockets a little bit more easily than had I had one more item underneath. Not a big deal. Um, I would like there to be a little bit more volume in here. So you can put, you know, a laptop a notebook, an iPad in there, as that's what they want you to do uh, with that back area. Now, the volume in here feels pretty good. Uh, this does feel like a 24 liter bag, especially once you've got all your stuff in here. Uh, it's very spacious, and I do really like the way they've given you this unique organization. The bag is definitely meant for you to use it, but if you don't want to, you can just throw your stuff in here and then no one would be the wiser, right? This could completely be unused, but if you're not gonna use it, you know, why would you buy it? One thing I have noticed is when you have items in that side pocket, this is where the tissues and the hand sanitizer is. It does eat a little bit into this, so I've noticed when zipping the bag up, if that water bottle's here, for instance, they do kind of fight um, along the side of the bag. So that is the main compartment. 
let's take a look now at the inside of the panel. You have a zip mesh pocket down here. This is volume independent. It's quite spacious. I have a small shell jacket that fits in here no problem. And what is in this pocket does not at all impede with the space inside the main compartment. And then there's an opaque pocket. And in here I have a couple more pouches. This is also very sizable as well and the volume is independent. That is patterned and cut and sewn so that it expands outwards towards the front panel. So great job with providing ample space for storing all of your stuff. And if you're not using all this space, the bag does look pretty slim. It's got a nice profile, which I think is great, especially for folks who commute on public transportation. I don't think I'd recommend this bag for travel just because the way that the frame sheet or lack of the frame sheet sort of impacts how the bag feels on my back. When I've got all this stuff inside the bag, if I'm not really particular with the way that I pack it out, let's see if we can show you. You can almost see here, this curves outwards, these sides of the back panel sort of curve towards the front of the bag, and it develops this rounded, this rounded sort of shape. That shape is felt on your back. You can feel it bulging. It feels a little bloated. So if you plan to really use all 24 liters, expect it to be a little bit misshaped. Um, unless you've got very square and solid objects that are gonna help keep it shaped. I think a 16 inch machine on its own with no other tech in that pocket might help give it more structure, but for me, it does just kind of have a rounded shape. And you know, the more I've used it, the less of a problem it's really been. And I don't find that it's uncomfortable, but it is noticeable. So I think that will be a deal breaker for some people, but ultimately, you know, wasn't so bad for me. I do like the way that the lack of structure gives it a nice uh, look and the materials drape really nicely on the bag. And sometimes it stands, which is, which is good. Um, but often it doesn't because there's zero structure. So that is the Heim Planet Transit Line Travel Pack 24 liter. Decent bag for everyday carry, tons of unique organization inside. I love that the front panel has a bunch of independent volume built in and you know, I think the materials are pretty cool. I, I do love 840D. It is one of my favorite materials and, you know, they are environmentally conscious, dyeing their materials upstream, which, you know, helps the environment. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions about this Heim Planet bag, please let me know and I'll catch you in the next one. So take care.